Hi, I'm Ann Mahaffey and I'm an applications engineer working on web tools here at Analog Devices. And in this video, I'm going to take a deeper dive into the calculations for this kickback and what's required to settle it. Um, in the previous video, we talked a bit about what this uh, SAR ADC input model was and how this driver and RC filter impact that. And we came up with this curve here that shows what happens when this switch closes and this uh, node, which we're gonna assume is sitting at ground, drags this whole node down and then uh, the, the time that's needed to settle it after that. Um, so building on uh, that last video, um, if we think about this curve and we need to know, we essentially need to know what is this voltage right here? What's this disturbance? And then what's the time that's needed to settle, settle it um, back to this settling point? And so, uh, to, to, to get a little firmer about what this curve is, let's, let's make an assumption first. Let's assume that, or you know, better define that we've got this reference voltage that we've set the ADC to. And so let's make an assumption that we're driving into this, um, into this signal, we're driving that full scale reference. That gives us the worst case scenario for our settling. Um, so we're driving VREF, into the ADC, uh, that's what we're trying to sample. We get this large disturbance um, at the beginning of acquisition that we need to settle out um, to a reasonable degree before this acquisition cycle is over. So to come up with what is this value right here, um, let's think about what's going on on these capacitors. So at this point, um, when you've got this charge redistribution, we've got, you know, zero volts here. And then we've got, you know, VREF at this node. And then the switch closes and the charge on these two capacitors will redistribute so that the, so that the charge is, is evenly on those nodes. So mathematically, what that looks like is the charge on the filter capacitor and the charge on that sample capacitor. So that's the total charge. And then if we divide it by the total capacitance, that converts that charge back to a voltage. And so this is what tells us the, um, it actually gives us this number right here. So what is the absolute voltage value when that switch closes? Now this actually simplifies down. So we know that the charge on that input uh, sample cap, we're just gonna assume that there's zero charge on it um, because of this, this grounding that occurs right there. And so the charge on this capacitor is just the voltage, which we're gonna assume is the reference voltage times that filter capacitor. So this is essentially our equation, which gives us this value right here. All right, um, but what we need, um, so this is good to know, but what we really need is we need to know this value because once we have this value and then we know what this, this curve looks like because of ta, and then we also are gonna know what we wanna settle to, that can help us build some equations around how do we design this circuit. And so just to hand wave a little bit um, for you to derive on your own, but this just works out to VREF times that sample cap over the total capacitance. All right, so these equations are the basis for how we're going to um, how we're going to build a set of equations that'll help us design this circuitry. And I'm going to talk a bit uh, about that in the next video.